Hello, hello friends, Dapper Driver here, and welcome to another PTCGO match. Uh, we're going to go over Entei GX today. We, I know I pulled a lot of these, both in real life and on the uh, PTCGO. Uh, I assume other people have had a similar effect. I've heard a lot of people talking about getting a lot of Entei GXs. Um, so he might be one of the more common GXs. I could be wrong, though. Some people might be just loaded with Mewtwo's, loaded with Shinings, and all that jazz. But we ended up getting three Entei GXs, so we're going to go over this next. Um, I believe we went over Raichu already. I don't remember what we did last week. I think we probably did Venusaur or something. But let's go over Entei GX today. So Entei GX is 180... A, uh, hit points Pokemon with uh, Combustion that does 50, Fire Fang that does 100, and Burned your opponent's active Pokemon. So it, it'll do 20 damage between turns. They flip a coin to see if they uh, if they get unburned. And then Brave Burn GX attack does 150 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. This is great for uh, taking some knockouts on Tapu Lele if you got a little more damage on it already. Uh, just finishing up stuff. Uh, so we're using Entei as a general just beat down stick, you know, just we're going to end up doing two hit KOs with Fire Fang. And uh, so we just figured, figured out a way to get them uh, loaded up real fast. Uh, so let's see uh, what else we have in this deck. So we have one uh, Instruct Orangaroo just so we can, uh, we have, we're playing a bunch of Nest Balls. So if we're in a bind, can't find cards, we can net, and we still have a Nest Ball, we can Nest Ball, Orangaroo, draw three cards. Uh, so that's a good option. Psychic's a good secondary attack. 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So if you end up facing up against a Gardevoir with a ton of energy on it, uh, Psychic could have your back or at least make a big dent in it. And then, like I said, we have two regular Ardentes and then one full Ardente. A beautiful card. I have it in real life. It's beautiful. Uh, we are playing Volcanion because we once Entei goes down... We need those energies back from the discard, so Power Heaters is the best way to get them back. And Steam Artillery makes it where it can be a good secondary attacker. Um, when I initially played this, it just I kept running out of energy at the end of the game, so I ended up throwing Volcanion in to help remedy that problem. We're playing two of you. Uh, we also have Tapu Koko for that flying flip attack, be able to spread some damage, make Tapu, Koko, Tapu Lele's within range to be knocked out by Entei's GX attack, so that's a quick two prizes. We just got to get one flying flip off on a Lele to be able to set it up to be able to take it and take it out by Entei for a one-hit knockout. And then uh, Electro Ball we're never going to use because we don't have the energy for it. And then we're finishing it off with a 2-2 uh, line of Remoraid. I would choose the Wild River one because I'd rather be able to switch it out of the active. And then Octillery with a abysmal hand. Uh, this is going to be our draw engine of this deck. Draw five cards. Uh, drive in, draw until you have five cards in your hand. This way we can play our disruption. We can play uh, different cards and not uh, not have to discard every single turn to get what we need. Um, and then to go on to the items, we're going to move on to Crushing Hammer. We're playing three of them. Uh, we're trying to... Entei is really slow. Mono a Mono just doesn't have the power to compete with other GXs. So we have to mitigate that somehow. And Crushing Hammer seems to be a good way. You know, deny their energy so that they cannot come back and hit you at the same that you can hit them. We're playing one Enhanced Hammer because Special Energy runs amok in the uh, TCGO on the ladder of all everywhere. So we're playing one of those. Uh, we could replace this with the Cortana once uh, Crimson Invasion comes out. But uh, for now, we're playing Enhanced Hammer. We're playing uh, two Field Blowers, I believe. Yeah, two Field Blowers because we have a Rangaroo. Uh, Octillery is our draw engine, so we ri really rely on them. We need to be able to play uh, Field Blower to be able to keep our abilities uh, use useful. And then we're also playing four Max Elixir. we got to get energy on to Entei as quickly as possible. And you'll see our energy counts soon enough. We're playing four of these so that we can get energy on Entei immediately. We're playing three Nest Ball to get our 
get our Pokemon down as quick as possible. So we're do really doing a budget build here, by the way. We're really doing a budget build. I should mention that. There's no Lele. So there's an Orangaroo, which you can get from a theme deck. Octillery, which you can get from the Keldeo. Versus Rayquaza deck. All this product you can should be able to buy, uh, which is pretty good. Nest Ball, I believe, comes in the theme decks as well. That's why I have 20 of them. So we're playing three Nest Balls to get down our basics. Everything we play is a basic, uh, except for Artillery. So it's pretty easy to get them set up uh, with just Nest Ball. We don't even need Ultra Ball. And then we play four Ultra Ball to get our Artilleries and anything else we need. So a total of seven Ball cards so that we can get everything that we need down. Uh, we got Guzma. We got two of them, I believe. I did cut it down to one, but I busted it back up to three, it looks like. Because Guzma's too good not to play. It keeps uh, keeps your opponent's Pokemon that they don't want in the active in the active. So that you can, uh, I want to say Blast Burn, but that's not the... Fire Fang for 100 damage. And uh, keep them burned in the active. Make them where they have to have the switch cards to get it out of the active. You also don't want to have your Artillery stuck, your uh, Rangaroo stuck, or any of that jazz. We're playing one Kiawe for that first turn possibility of setting up an Entei first turn so it can just start fire fanging immediately. We got one Lily also for first turn. We can get up to eight cards, um, which is very useful when setting up. Uh, makes it where you're not short on your hand size. We're playing, I believe it's 3N. Yeah, we're playing 3N as a general draw supporter. Uh, we don't really want to discard a lot of our stuff. We want to discard our fire energies, maybe, but uh, we don't plan to start with Volcanion, and if we do, there's other ways of discarding the fire energy, Ultra Ball and whatnot. Uh, and then we're playing two Skyla to be able to search out all our items. If we need a Crushing Hammer, Enhanced Hammer, if we need a, a Field Blower to knock off those tools to get those uh, items back, Max Elixirs, Nest Balls, any of those item cards we need, we can get with those two Skylas. We can also get any of our trainers. And then we're also finishing out supporters with a Team Flare Grunt. We're playing two of them to deny energy from our opponent. So this is a bit of a denial, a bit of a, an Entei deck, so that's what we're playing. We're playing Bursting a Balloon over Choice Band because it does 60 damage, and it can protect our... Um, Entei for one turn. Your opponent's not going to want to attack into 60 damage. Usually with Entei's numbers, that is possible to knock it out with the burn and all that. So if you attack 180 HP basic uh, with uh, Fire Fang and you throw a Bursting Balloon on it, they're not going to attack you back because it knocks them out as well. Even if they can get the one hit KO, majority of the time they are not going to attack you back with a Bursting Balloon. They're going to wait for you to get rid of it. Or they're going to spend their uh, Field Blower getting rid of it. And then we have uh, two Fighting Fury Belts to boost uh, Entei's HP up to 220. It's pretty useful. Uh, so you don't get hit, not one hit knocked out by uh, Gardevoir as easy. It helps you with like mitigate poison damage. Uh, it helps you against... Uh, it just helps you raise your HP. A lot of things can hit 180, but they can't hit 220 so easily. So... That's where Fighting Fairy Belt comes in. It makes it a two-hit KO. Makes you trade uh, two hits for two hits rather than uh, two hits for one hit. And then we're finishing it out with a ton of fire energy. Fifteen to be exact. We're going to make sure we hit all of our max elixirs. Uh, make sure we have plenty of energy so we don't have to run dry. And uh, so we're playing tons of energy. So we're going to go ahead and copy this to the clipboard. Put it in the description of the video. Uh, be sure... If if you guys like this, let me know. We are naming this one hashtag shrimp kebabs because it's fire tights with uh, artillery. So it's not exactly a good name for it, but it is, I guess. I would say raw sushi, but uh, it wouldn't be raw because it's cooked, right? So I don't know. Well, lions and squids, I guess. Oh my. That could be it too. So hashtag shrimp kebabs if you guys like this down in the comment section. Uh, yeah, that works. Firebox, Victini sleeves. Uh, it's start already. So let's go ahead, take it to the ladder. It hasn't won anything yet, guys. It hasn't won anything. Uh, as you can see, I was playing around with Entei, Volcania, and all that jazz. So let's go up here to hashtag, not slippery stall, hashtag 
Not fire roasted squid. Here we go. Shrimp kebabs. Let's play some shrimp kebabs. Looking for an opponent. What do we got here? Waiting. 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 Wow. That took a long time to get somebody. Oh no, it's my twin. It's my evil twin, guys. It's my evil twin, and he's playing metal. Caden Shino. It's like my evil twin, guys. I'm just going to give a heart, because that's, that's hilarious. Um, who do we want to start with today? We'll start with Volcanian. And throw a Rengaru onto the bench. Now, what do we want to do here? We want to throw that Bursting Balloon down. We are going to Ultra Ball the two supporters. To pull out that Remoraid. We're going to go ahead and Max Elixir onto the Orangaroo. Which kind of sucks, but I uh, missed that one. Instruct for three cards. We get that Entei. And we'll put that Fire Energy there. Okay, let's see what our opponent does. We have, unless they get ability lock, we are still going to draw some cards next turn with the instruct ability. Looks like we're play see, facing off against some Zoroark for one. But who is Zoroark playing with here? Uh, what did he discard? Dark and Choice Band. Four. We're playing Darkrai. Zoroark Darkrai. In a Liking Rock costume. I thought I was the one with the Liking Rock costume. So they got the Sycamore to get set up. They knew not to end because I only had one card left. Really, Max Elixir onto the Lele. I like think now that Zoroark is out, people are hyped to play Darkrai again. I faced one against against one earlier today as well when I was testing. Restoration to get that dark eye set up. And they did not attack me. We'll go ahead and throw a fire energy onto the Volcanion. Instruct for two more cards. Get that nest ball to pull out. Coco, I guess. And go ahead and max elixir for another fire energy. We have no fire energy in there. Um, I don't want them to be able to set that up. Oh, I should have went after this, right? Uh, I'll go into Coco because it has free retreat here. Because I'm going to soften up this uh, Dark Rye with Power Heater. Two Power Heaters and you can get knocked out on the bench by Entei. There's a Zoroark. And it's ready to go. So our goal here is to take out the two Leleys and the Dark Guy for our six prizes. A Dark Energy for two more cards and then Sycamoring for more Dark Energy and N. Let's 
Good thing we have a Rengaru. We'd be super stuck right now if we didn't. And there comes Zoroark out. How did he get in here? I thought he played Max Elixir last. Did he play Guzma? No, he didn't play Guzma. He j oh, he retreated with his uh, stadium. Altar of the Moon. So if I can do some spread Coco damage. What? Trickster G. Oh my gosh. Trickster GX immediately. Ah, oh, I needed that crushing hammer. We're just power heater here. Throw an energy on Entei. Wow. <laughs> Such a jerk move. And then there goes the, the Zorak. He's out of here now. He's done. Guzmoing up the Entei. Oh, taking away my other draw support. Okay. That doesn't bother me as much. How many Guzmas do you play already? There's nowhere you play four. Wow. That's just harsh. Um, I don't have any more energies in here, do I now? Hmm. You have 190 HP. Alright, we're gonna go into Entei here and start trying to take care of business. So he's going to retreat to get that burn off, or I just flip a coin to get heads. Does he actually have the Dark Pulse when he does? This is a very good deck against that uh, we're facing against, guys. Where, how does he have all the right cards? And then trading for two more cards. This does not seem like a 60 card deck, I swear. <laughs> oh. Has Evil Tall too? That's ridiculous. Alright guys, this deck is lost. Um... I mean, they still would have won even without taking out around the Angerangaroo, but wow. That was... That was just ridiculous. There is the power of Zorak, guys. Let's play some more shrimp kebabs. Hopefully this time we don't get roasted. Our set ablaze, jeez. I don't know, usually balance, but jeez, that was just ridiculous. <laughs> Literally, Trickster GX and Tay's move to take out Ranger. <laughs> just like, what the heck? Oh, are you kidding me, right? Uh. Alright, so hopefully we can do some energy denial right now. That's not the best play though, the best play is to end. And we're going first. Ooh, we get three more cards. That might actually help us here. Oh, and we get the Entei, nice.
Now they're probably going to end us here. But hopefully they bridge it. We gotta hope for a bridge it here. This is how most Galissapod decks start out. Sorry I wasn't able to show you guys that dark gray list. It was just kind of a... Well, let's move on from that. They play Zora. Just don't play an N. Just don't play an N. Kikui. Whoa, they're that stuck. They are that stuck. Oh, man. Bloodstone on the Zorark. So yeah, with my list, feel free to play around with it, guys. It's not complete. Um, by any means. And I don't want to end you. Uh, guess I'm going to do the first Octillery. Because if I get a Fire Energy, I definitely am going to use it on Remoraid. There's a energy for... Hmm. It's gonna be a one turn... Octillery, I guess. We'll just try to get set up a little bit more here. Put that energy there. We'll hold on to that until we get a uh, Inte next turn. The show is like when your opponent's stuck, don't don't help them because you'll get destroyed if you help them. Which is why I got destroyed last match. So we're facing Galissapod Zorark, which is also decent. You're going to see Zoroark everywhere, so start tucking in Pseudoludos, guys. Start tucking in, um, watch and learn Pseudoludo, the field blocking Pseudoludo. And we're facing Baby, Baby Shredder, not, a uh, not the big Shredder. Oh, and they had all the moves. They were just lying. For a lily. Lily. That's a beautiful card. For six more cards. What are they going to play? A grass energy? Nope. I guess not. So with that. Ooh, we got the Guzma. Let's just play the Guzma. We'll put the Lele out front. Because they're going to work on trying to get rid of it. Uh, we can... Abysmal Hand. Now I feel like we can get rid of something. One of the ends for a... Volcanion. Go ahead and Field Blower away... The Floatstone for sure, and the uh, Choice Band there. And we will Abysmal Hand again. Keep the cards a-flowing. We get the Max Elixir for our Entei. And we can Flying Flip, getting Lele within the... Oh, is really? That's how that works? I didn't realize that was even on the bench. Guzma trying to pull out that one, huh? Interesting.
going to go over ahead and not field blower this turn. Uh, hmm. I don't quite have the energy I need. And they just wasted a Guzma, which is great. We'll Guzma up that Lele again. We'll pull out our Tapu Koko. Go ahead and Bismal Hand for one. Which is a fire energy. Which means we could take out uh, Galissapod. If need be. Hmm. It's not what I like to do with it though. So we'll just... Get another fire energy. And go ahead and flying flip for 20 more damage on those three. If Zora doesn't evolve this turn, it's gone. With another co with another Coco flying flip. And then Coco is going to have 50 damage left. And Tapu Lele, as long as it's not Ace Arola here, has a... Uh, is gonna can be taken out by the Intage GX attack. Another Guzma. They're really trying to trap me. This is where having a switch in this deck could work, but you're not usually gonna face that many Guzmas in a row. And they're spreading some damage, getting it spread nice and thin. Um, we'll go ahead and throw this fire energy. On Volcanion. We don't play float stones. Let's get rid of that. We'll see what we get with the Bismal Hand. Nest Ball. That's useless. So the question here is to Kiawe or not. Because they can swing in and hit me more. Try to make me lose energy. But I have no way of searching out a Guzma or a switching option. So it seems like it might be necessary. Let's key our way for three. Onto the Entei. That way when it does go down, uh, Volcanion has some fire energy targets. I think they used two. They've only used two? I swear they've used three. I thought they've used three Guzmas. Guess they only used two, okay. Nest Ball for that Rangaroo. I think this is a non GX version. But they still have two GX targets for me. Another Coco flying flip. And we get another Guzma. Hmm. I think we use it. Drag out a Rangaroo. Draw one card. It is a fire energy. Fire energy. We'll put it on Volcanion. Draw one more card. Max Elixir. Missed it. That's fine. We're going to go ahead and take out the Tapu Lele for two prizes. Two fire energies. No wonder I missed it, looks like. <laughs> Only had 13 energies in there. That's a normal count. <laughs> so we're pretty good. We have, we're in a really good position. We have to watch out for is that Galissapod. 
We also gave them out by knocking out that Lele. We're going to end us down to 4, which is not really going to affect us. And a switch into Tapu Koko again. A lot of switching cards in this deck. Okay, so it seems like I'm, I do need to take out the Tapu Koko. It's starting to spread too much damage. Galissapod in for that Entei, trying to take it out. Question is Entei or Volcania? It's an Entei deck, so let's go with Entei, guys. Nest Ball. You think we want a Nest Ball for? I don't think there is. But I think our saving grace here is going to be. Volcanion in the end. We're gonna go ahead and enhanced hammer. We're gonna take it off the Coco. Cause we're gonna knock out this uh Galissapod in front of us. I think my last card I want is Entei. We can knock Tillery four three. Get that max elixir. On to Entei. Abysmal Hand for one. Go ahead and Crushing Hammer just to see if it hits. It doesn't. And then go ahead and Fire Fang to take out this Galissapod for a Fire Energy. So I only had 12 Fire Energies because they were all prized. And then Zora comes in. So they don't really have an attacker right now. They can attack with Lele to take out this next Entei. But other than that, they need another double colorless energy. They have two more in the deck, most likely. Max Potion. That's fine. They should have did that on Lele. And they're filling their bench, so... Now the biggest attacker they have is a stand-in Zoroark. Like that. Which we can take out with the Volcanion. Yeah. It's not a problem. We'll take that out right now. Uh, I think we'll put Volcanion down. We're going to end first. Put them down to two cards. We got an extra fire energy. Did we use all of our max elixirs? Yes, we have. So don't no need to search for them. And then Volcanion. Just show your power, dude. Okay, two more prizes. We can take out two Cocos or one Lele. Did we use all of our Guzmas? We have, okay. A heavy ball. What's so heavy? Guzzlord? No, Wimpod's heavy. Okay, so they're bringing out the last Wimpod. This is a close match, which is bad because I have uh, weakness, but they haven't really played with the Galissapod too much. the cocoa that's been driving me nuts they pass interesting we will abysmal hand up to five we don't want to run out of cards here it's a skyla so too bad i can't skyla for a guzma to pull out a lele 
We're just gonna take out this um, Tapu Koko. They don't have any energy. They get a DCE, Lele can take out Volcanion. But we should be able to draw into a last energy to use uh, Entei. There's a Galissapod. If they end up trying to attack with Galissapod, uh, Entei can take it out. Rescue Stretcher 4. Probably putting 3 back in there. Yeah, I was like, probably putting everything back. So sorry if this video runs a little long. They play the 4th Guzma! They play the 4th Guzma. Oh man. Now they just need a grass energy. My turn. Of course we're going to Crushing Hammer first. Try to get rid of that uh, energy onto the Coco. We have this. Let's Skyla. I don't know what else we have here. Is there anything we can use? Crushing Hammer, Nest Ball, and Bursting Balloon. Nope. Uh, looks like we lost this due to card flow. We have no more cards we can play. So we lost it. That fourth Guzma, that mattered. So, I guess they don't have any energies on the board right now, do they? Nope. So, we'll just grab the Bursting Balloon. And play defensively. In hopes that they either take out Octillery, or, uh... Although that probably just told them that we don't have the float stone. Do they have the grass energy? Nope. Neither do we. So we're just gonna be running out of cards here. They have 20 cards. That's probably the best way and take and play right there. Being denied the last prize card. They've, re they've realized this now. They're even so much so that they're putting the grass energy on Tapu Koko instead. They know they do not want to take out this artillery. Okay, so I do have one more N. So I can stall until I have one card left, or no cards left really. We're going to have to make them attack us. Right now it's draw pass for both parties. It's the last card we can play. We still have our three nest balls. We didn't play any of them. There's a second grass energy on the Coco. They can try to get two knockouts together. That was our last card, right? What? Why did it not play? Yes. I want to have fewer cards in my hand. So we're still playing the same game. If they were smart, they could retreat into Tapu Koko and attack both Octillery's and win that way. If they want to win by prizes. There they go. Say, so what can we even grab here? I guess Lily.
Well played, and they just took the game. So close. See, even against weakness, Entei can just... Eh, just shy. So you guys go, that's how you can play Entei. Feel free to... Uh, sorry, noises, noises, noises. Feel free to grab the deck list, adjust it to how you see fit. Um, I'd say remember to even Volcanion was a thing. That was a pretty good match. Here's a Galissapod uh, Zoroark list. This one didn't play as well as that Darkrai list we played first. That Darkrai list just wrecked us. But there you guys go. There's some Shrimp Kebabs. Let's go ahead and see what we can open up. I don't know how uh, some of these other YouTubers end up just winning all their games, but let's see. We're open up some Sun and Moon series. We're open up one Guardians Rising and three Sun and Moon. Maybe we can pull that uh, Ultra Ball. Maybe we can pull some um, Drampos. I want to see how uh, Gumshoes does again, too. And Cineroar. We can play that with Ho-Oh now. Although I'm wondering if the new Incineroar is a little better than that one. There we go, a secret rare metal energy, guys. Very pretty. One more. Sorry, I cut out the microphone for a second there. Incineroar! <laughs> it's that troll. He likes to troll us. Okay, one Guardian's Rising. Is this one the one with the Lele in it? Who knows? Doubtful. But I don't remember what we're missing from Guardians Rising. It's still something, I'm sure. It's not Helios, though. So there we guys go. Um, tune in next time. We'll be going over some more Shining Legends mons. Maybe it's time for uh, Venusaur or something. I don't know. Or we can play for Alligator Croconaw. Keldeo. We already played Brideshoe. Maybe it's Arbok time. That could work. Arbok. That's what we have. We could have played a Hoopa. That could have helped stall. But, you know. It happens. So, we'll see you guys on the next video. This has been Dapper Drabby. Thanks for coming out to the PTCGO video. Um, of course, there'll be more opening videos uh, the rest of the week. So, I'll see you guys in those. Alola. Bye-bye now.